Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Jessica's back here at school, and I am thinking about all of you. Good morning, good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. I say hello and how do you do to all my friends and parents too. Good morning, good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. How are you guys doing today? Well, I have some news for you. So apparently we are going to be doing this for a few more weeks. So I sat down with Miss Bree and Mr. Charlie today and we've come up with a plan where every week we will have a short lesson, about a half hour that you guys can join us on Mondays. And then on Wednesdays, we'll have a follow-up lesson. And then on Fridays, we'll have a short little story and a little snippet about what, what was happening during the week. So this week, we're going to be talking about bugs and spiders. And we're going to go into that in a minute. But I thought I would catch you up on, on something we did last week. If anybody did our bean project, if you look really good at my bag of beans, there they are. Do you see? They started to sprout. So now the roots are coming out. I'll show you the other side. You see that? The roots are coming out and the beans are starting to sprout. They're not ready to plant yet. They're not ready to plant yet, but they are getting ready. And as soon as I start to see a little sprout at the top up here come out, I'm going to stick them in a pot or in the ground with a stake and I'm going to watch my beans grow. So if you did this project with Miss Jessica last week, your beans might be starting to sprout. So keep an eye on them. It isn't too late to do the project. Remember, it's a wet paper towel, some beans, and a plastic bag, and you put it in the window. So Miss Jessica is gonna put hers back in the window so that they can grow some more before I put them down into the dirt. So that was last week's project that we did. This week we're going to be talking about bugs and spiders and the reason we're doing that is because what season is it? It's spring. You're right. It's spring. And so there's a lot of things happening outside. One of them is a lot of people are planting and if you planted a garden, good for you. Um, and if you started your beans, that means in a, in a couple of days to maybe about a week, you're going to plant your beans and then you can watch them grow during uh, the springtime. Now, um, the, the reason we're doing bugs and spiders is because right now, all of the insects and the bugs and the spiders and uh, are coming out of the ground. Um, a lot of times, just like the bears, they hibernate. They go down into a warm place and they stay down there until it gets warmer. And when it starts to get warmer, they come out. So during the winter, you don't see many uh, spiders and you don't hardly see any bugs. Um, the bees um, are not around and um, the flies, believe it or not, they're not around. Um, so a lot of these um, insects and spiders kind of go in hibernation like the bears did. And so we're going to um, go and look for some spiders and some bugs. But if you look up here on our tree, there is a spider web. And on the spider web, there are spiders. Let's count and see how many they, there are. There's one, two, three spiders. And way up high, if you look really good, there is a fly. So they caught a fly in their spider web. So yes, spiders do eat insects. And that's part of their nature that they eat insects because do we want insects crawling all over us? No, and if we didn't have spiders, then we'd have a lot of insects and that would not be fun to have a lot of insects on us. So I'm gonna read a short story. It's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Let's sing the song first though. Okay, so everybody get ready. 
Bye, itsy bitsy spider went up this water spout. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. So, I'm going to read you the story of the itsy bitsy spider. It's a little longer than the song. All right, so here we go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. I'm going to move it so you can see better. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. Whoosh! Went the fan and made the spider fall. Off went the fan. No longer did it blow, so the itsy bitsy spider back up the wall did go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the yellow pail. It came, in came a mouse and flicked her with his tail. Down fell the spider and the mouse ran out the door. Then the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the pail once more. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the rocking chair. Up jumped a cat and knocked her in the air. Down plopped the cat and when he was asleep, the itsy bitsy spider back up the chair did creep. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the maple tree. She slipped on some dew and landed next to me. Out came the sun and when the tree was dry, the itsy bitsy spider gave it one more try. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up without a stop. She spun a silky web right at the very top. She wove and she spun, and when her web was done, the itsy bitsy spider rested in the sun. All right, so when Miss Bree and Mr. Charlie and Miss Jessica were sitting down and we were talking about what we were, what our plan was for the next few weeks. One of them was that we were going to put packets together for you to do some projects at home. So I'm going to show you the packet we're going to put out today and your moms and dads can swing by and pick them up um, and you can do some of the projects that we're doing on here. So let me grab the package and it looks like this. Okay. And inside the package is two projects and a put together project. And we'll talk about this in a minute. But let's talk about spiders, the difference between spiders and bugs. All right, so here is a picture of a spider. Oh, and yes, guys, what kind of spider is this? A black widow, you're right. And are we supposed to touch black widows? No, we are not. They can bite us and make us very sick. So if you see a, a spider that looks like this with that little red dot on the back, do not pick it up. Now, I know that some of you see Miss Jessica picking up spiders when we are doing Spider Island, but I would not pick up one of these spiders because they have poison in them and they can make us very sick. So, but we're going to talk about this spider because this is the picture I have. So, let's count and see how many legs this spider has. 
We're gonna start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A spider has eight legs. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a spider and an insect. So this is one of the insects. And let's see how many legs an insect has. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So how many legs did a spider have? You're right, it has eight legs. How many legs does an insect have? Six legs, that's right. That's one of the big difference between a spider and an insect. Now, we're gonna do a project about the legs on a spider and an insect later on this week, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. All right, so now Miss Jessica is going to talk about how where how a spider web works so the spider web behind us it is there to catch food for the spider because the spider doesn't have hands and it can't pick it up and insects are really fast and so the web is a play is the home for the spider but it also catches the food because on the web, it's very sticky. So if a bug or an insect goes onto the web, it sticks to the web. And then the spider can crawl up its web and it can get its dinner. Um, that is the way that it catches its food. So, so we're going to do a sticky project later on this week so I can show you how that works. Um, but right now, I am going to show you our spider, our actually our insect bug or spider project. You can make whatever you want out of this. So in this bag, there is a part, it is an egg carton. And on this egg carton, it has two parts of the body because a spider and most insects have two parts of the body. Um, and so you're gonna get one of these and a lot of little different things, eyes and, and jewels and buttons and matchsticks. Um, and they're not matchsticks, they're matchstick. They, they call them matchsticks because do we touch matches? No, we don't touch matches but this is what they call a matchstick um, on here. And it can go on your insect or spider. And I'm hoping that you'll put a little project together. I'm not gonna do it because then um, it would be my bugger spider. And so I'm not gonna make a bugger spider because I don't want you to make them like me. I want you to make your own insect or spider like you. So in our bag, our project bag, this is inside for mom and dad to come pick up. All right. So then I have another project that Miss Bree and I are gonna do this week too. And we're gonna film it. And maybe Mr. Charlie will join us too. This is called a bug scavenger hunt. This paper is in our project bag and you can come and get it. And then every time you see one of these bugs, I want you to mark it off. So Ms. Bree and I are going to go probably take a walk, um, maybe tomorrow. And we're gonna see how many of these bugs or spiders we can find. We might even look in our backyard. That's what I want you to do. I want you to look in your backyard and see. If you don't see it yet, you eventually will see uh, most of these flying or crawling in your backyard. Um, so this is gonna be in the packet and you can do a bug scavenger hunt. And like I said, Miss Leah, Miss Jessica, Miss 
Bree and Mr. Charlie are going to um, do a scavenger hunt and see what we can find at school. Um, now, Miss, Le Miss Leah might join us too. We might ask her and see if all of us can find some of these bugs or spiders. Moms and dads can help you find these too. It might be fun for them to have a scavenger hunt too. So this is another project that's going to be in the packet. There's one more project in the packet I'm not going to show you because it is Miss Bree's project. And when Miss Bree does this video, her video on Wednesday, the follow-up video, she is going to tell you about the other part uh, of the project that's in this bag. But I don't want you to do it right away. Wait till Miss Bree talks about it. All right, so this is our packet, moms and dads, boys and girls. And I would like you, if you get a chance, to swing by and pick it up. We're going to have a packet every single week that you can swing by and pick up and do a couple of projects. All right, so now we're going to do a eye hand project where Miss Jessica's going to draw something on the whiteboard. And you guys can copy it with her. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit so you guys can see it better. All right, so I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to get my marker um, to write on the whiteboard. You go get a piece of paper and a pencil or marker, anything you can write with, and I'm going to have you copy me, and I'm going to ask you some questions. So go get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. I'll be right back. I hope everybody is doing well. We are doing great at school. Um, we're missing you, but we are really um, doing okay. And we're just trying to make sure that you guys are getting all the things that you need from us um, that we can give you. Okay, so are we ready? Do you have your pen? Do you have your paper? All right, Miss Jessica is going to start. So we're going to do shapes today. And while we're doing shapes, I am going to make a bug. And I'm going to see if you can follow Miss Jessica doing the writing. Okay? All right. So, ready? We're going to go down to the paper. And Miss Jessica is going to make this shape. And you tell me what it is. What shape is that? It's a circle. You're right. So it is a circle. And I'm going to write C I R C L E, circle. That's right. It's a circle. All right. Now I'm going to do another part, and it's going to be a. <gasps> what is it? You're right, it's a triangle. Did you make it? It is over, up, and down. And it is a triangle. That's right, a triangle. Good. All right, you ready for another shape? Now I'm gonna make a few of these. So I'm gonna make one, two, three on one side. What shape is this? A rectangle. You're right. It is a rectangle. All right. Those are three of them. So it's long, over, and down. And you can close it up at the bottom. So that is a rectangle. Good. All right. So I'm going to do three more over here. So it's over, down, over, up. Over, down, over, up. Over, down, over, up. And that's a rectangle. Good, rectangle. All right. So now I'm going to do two more of these. What are these again? Circles, you're right. 
So I thought it would be fun to have circles for eyes. Good. All right. So if this has one, two, three, four, five, six, is it a bug or a spider? You're right. It's a bug. It is a bug. And it's a shape bug. All right. Now, I'm going to put something on the body of our bug. And it is... What shapes are these? They're ovals, you're right. So an oval is different than a circle because why? They're longer, right? A circle is just round, an oval is long. So these are ovals, right? Okay, now I am going to put something inside of the rectangle and I want you to tell me what it is. You see that? It's kind of little, huh? So if this is a rectangle, what is this? A square, you're right, it is a square. It's a square. And the difference between a rectangle and a square is that the rectangle is longer and oblong. So it's longer than a square. A square has four equal sides. A rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. So this is our bug. And the difference between a bug and a spider is a bug has six legs. And a spider has eight legs. All right, so there is our shaped bug today. And I hope I didn't go too fast for you to make it. Um, if you can't make it, it's okay. If it doesn't look like Miss Jessica's, it's still okay. Because does it have to look like Miss Jessica's? Nope, it does not. It has to look like your bug. So now today, if you'd like, you can make a few bugs or spiders with different shapes. All right, so now I'm going to move that out of the way and I'm going to come back and I am going to tell mom and dad a game that you guys could play at home. You guys have played it here. We haven't played it a lot yet, but, and we would play it a lot more here in the next couple of weeks, but it's called the Roly Poly Game. And what it is, is the kids crawl on the floor, or even mom and dad, you guys can crawl on the floor too and just walk around and walk around. But then when somebody yells, roly poly, you roll up in a ball and you stay there. Now, the person who calls roly poly, if you do not roll up in a ball fast enough, they can tag you and guess what? You're out. You've been caught by the spider. So, you crawl on the floor. <gasps> Roly poly! There you go. Nobody caught me. Mm -mm, that spider's not going to get me. So, you guys can play that at home. It's pretty fun. Um, and sometimes when you hear roly poly, you forget to roll up. And then you're eaten by the spider. That's not fun. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do is I am going to read another story. It's called The Old Black Fly. So how many legs does a fly have? Six. That's right, because it is an insect or a bug. Okay, Old Black Fly. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around. And he had a very busy, bad day. 
He ate the crust on the apple pie. He bothered the baby and made her cry. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He coughed on the cookies with the chocolate bits. He drove the dog nearly out of his wits. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He frolicked on the eggs for the birthday cake and he licked up the frosting for goodness sake. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He danced on the edge of the garbage sack. He got sweet honey on his dirty back. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He hid in the ivy by the kitchen sink. He stole some jelly as quick as a wink. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He played on the keys by the kitchen door and he lit on the list for the grocery store. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He lapped up the milk in poor kitty's bowl and he nibbled on the noodles in the casserole. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He crawled in the spills from the olive oil can. He pestered the parrot on her stand. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He snoozed on the quilt on grandma's bed and he rode the red ribbon on her head. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. Does grandma look happy? Yikes, that's a face. He sniffed the salami that sister sliced. He ran around her teacup once or twice. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He slept on the stack of clean underwear and he played on the vase by the velvet chair. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. Hey guys, what is on the page that Miss Jessica's reading? The words. You're right, I'm reading those words. He dozed on the window in the summer heat. He made a little X with his front feet. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He buzzed about the yarn in Mama's lap. He landed on her table, flap, flip, flap. Zzzz, swat! <gasps> Old black flies done buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old black flies done buzzing around and he won't be bad no more. Oh my goodness. Poor old black fly. All right. So now we're going to finish up with our calendar. Are you ready? Because we need to catch up on our calendar now. So let's see what's going on. All right. Here we go. Oh, let me get a number. Okay, let me move the number over. All right, so has it changed yet? Nope, it is still March. But we're getting close to a change. I won't tell you yet. All right, so M-A-R-C-H. What does that spell? March, you're right. And the year is... 2020. All right. So now we're going to do a little catching up. We're going to start with the number one and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You're right, 26. 
and a two and a six make 26. And that was on last Thursday. So then 26, 27, you're right. 27, a two and a seven make 27. And that was last Friday. Now, if we were coming to school on Friday, the next day would be a stay home day. And what day would that be? Saturday, you're right. And so 26, 27, 28. A two and an eight make 28. All right, so there again, if we stayed home on Saturday, would we come to school on Sunday? No, we would not come to school on Sunday. That's a stay home day too. And so on Sunday, the day after Saturday the 28th is the 29th, a two and a nine. Okay, so now Miss Jessica's back to school on Monday, which would be a school day with you all here with us, which I'm missing you guys being here. But I am back to school and 29, 30, yeah, 30. And a 30 is a three and a zero. And today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. That's right. Monday, March 30th, 2020. So guys, we haven't seen each other for this week and this week and we're starting a new week. So this is the week number three. We might not see each other for another few weeks. So Miss Jessica, Mr. Charlie, Miss Bree are going to keep this up and so that you can see and be, still be with us without us being together face to face. All right, so let's do the song. Um, let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, two, Thursday, Friday, go to school. Saturday, Sunday, we stay home. Monday, back to school, we go. So right now we're using our imagination and we are pretending that we are back at school and we were all together. Now, everybody look outside. Right now, while Miss Jessica's looking outside, I see some things happening in the sky. So let's catch up on the weather. So outside today, on Monday the 30th, I am seeing some clouds. There are some clouds outside. I am also seeing a little wind. There's some wind outside. I'm gonna put that up. I am also seeing, I don't see the sun, but it is light outside. So is it daytime or nighttime? You're right, it is daytime. So I'm gonna put the sun out because it is not nighttime. And then, anything else happening outside? No. There is some blue sky. So there's clouds and blue sky outside. Um, yesterday on Sunday, it rained a little bit. Today, it's not going to rain. Um, but it is going to be cloudy, or at least I don't think it's going to rain. They say it's not supposed to rain. All right. So guess what, though? Miss Jessica star is still up there. I'm going to see if Miss Bree or Mr. Charlie remember to put their star up there because it's still my turn to be the shooting star. And I've been the shooting star for a while. So I am going to put all of our project bags outside and I am going to hope that your moms and dads can come and pick them up. And then on Wednesday, Miss Bree's gonna be back and she's gonna do a follow-up of this lesson. And then um, Mr. Charlie has a big surprise to show you on Friday. Just like the beans, Mr. Charlie started something and um, now it's changing. So we're going to see what change that, that Mr. Charlie started. Um, I hope you have a really great day today. 
Um, look for bugs, look for spiders. Um, Miss Jessica might start the, um, the spider island project. It depends on if I can find a spider that will stay on the island. And if I do, I will make sure to film it so that you can see it. I want you to take care of yourselves, take care of your moms and dads, and I will see you next time. Um, have a great day and missing all of you and talk soon. Bye.